Hi, this video will show you a little bit more about the Cesaroni 38 uh, rocket motor so that you know how to pick the right one for your rocket project. Um, as you can see, the Cesaroni cases come in several different sizes uh, from a 1 grain, 2 grain, 3 grain, all the way up to 6XL grain. So what does that mean, uh, the number of grains? Well, basically, this is the rocket propellant that you're going to buy, and you'll get this separately from the motors. But inside is the rocket propellant, and I can open it up and show you what it looks like. Uh, this is a two-grain case, and what that means is it has two propellant grains in it. And the propellant grains just look like this. Um, so there's two inside the casing. So if you buy a two-grain casing, you'll use uh, the two-grain propellant. And if you buy a three-grain, uh, you'll need three-grain propellant. Um, so basically, that is what that means. Um, let me get this back in here, and I'll show you how they go together. These are kind of a tight fit. Uh, this side here is the nozzle, um, and the nozzle has the aft closure uh, already molded into it. Now this is different from the 29 millimeter. On the 29 millimeter motor, you actually have to buy the aft closure separately, but on the 38 millimeter motors, it's already included in the propellant, so you don't have to even worry about that part. And that goes on this end of the propellant case. And this is the uh, ejection charge is on this side, and the delay grain is on this side. And uh, you'll need to adjust that delay grain. Um, and if you go to the propellant page for the Cesaroni propellant, uh, you'll see a video there on how to do that. So this gets slid into here. Um, and then this is a two grain case, uh, so we'll slide it into the two grain case, the aluminum case, and this is a tight fit. Um, and then you'll just screw it in by hand. And you might want to get a, uh, like a shop rag or something just to grip this a little bit easier. And you just screw it together and uh, you'll stick the igniter in it and your, your rocket's ready to go. So, so that's very easy to do. Um, the cool thing about these Cesaroni motors is that you can get these spacers here and they come in different sizes. You got the regular size, which is these, and then you got the XL size. And this one will go in the XL casing. And you can use up to two of these per case. But what that allows you to do, take this out of here, is now I can slide the spacer into the three grain case and I can use the two grain propellant inside of it. Basically it's the same principle, you just put it in and screwed it all together. And so that's basically how it will go together. And then to get it out, I just have a wooden doll here just to, to slide it out. So there, that's basically it on uh, selecting the motors. Um, in the one grain case, you'll have your G motor. A two grain is an H motor. Three grain, oops, that fell out, is the uh, is uh, big H's and I's. These these are small I's. Uh, the the four grain will be kind of a, a big I motor, like high total impulse. Um, and then the five grain starts your J motors, small J's, big I's, uh, medium size I's, and or medium-sized J's and huge J's. Um, so that's basically the, the size that you'll get. With the spacers, um, you can actually just, like I said, you can use two spacers per casing. So if you get the three grain casing, you can use two spacers and use the two and the one grain propellant packs. Um, so this is probably the best deal. This and the six grain plus two spacers will get you basically all the uh, different propellant packs for these uh, for these cases. So that is Cesaroni Motors. If you have any questions, uh, please just email us. Um, and thank you for coming to the Apogee website.